watching Eagle News Washington DC. I am Rose Angeles. Here are the stories from this side of the globe. U.S. presidential swearing-in rehearsals held at the Capitol. The Church of Christ helps clean the communities in Southern California. The Ringling Brothers Circus is packing up after nearly 150 years. Plus, EBC's Las Vegas brings us the latest in air technology. Now for the details. A rehearsal for the inauguration of President-elect Donald Trump is held Sunday at the U.S. Capitol in Washington, D.C. Angela Mendez reports. A dress rehearsal for U.S. President-elect Donald Trump's inauguration is held on Sunday, January 15 at the U.S. Capitol, ahead of the official inauguration which will be held on Friday, January 20th. Trump will serve as the 45th President of the United States. Trump, a New York real estate developer, one with a populist platform that included promises to build a wall along the Mexican border and restrict immigration from Muslim countries. He also promised to crack down on companies moving jobs out of the United States. Trump's disparaging comments about immigrants and women and stance against President Barack Obama's health care law have drawn the anger of many on the left who plan a series of protests. Trump blasted U.S. Representative John Lewis after the Georgia Democrat and civil rights campaigner said he did not see Trump as a legitimate president. Lewis told NBC News in an interview for Sunday's Meet the Press that he believed Russia's alleged hacking aimed at helping Trump put his legitimacy into question. Trump replied on Twitter on Saturday that Lewis should focus on his Atlanta district. All talk, talk, talk. No action or results. Sad. For Eagle News, I am Angela Mendez, and I am one with 25. Thank you, Angela. Church of Christ congregations in Southern California keep their communities clean, one street at a time. Eva Basaleje with the story. Take a look. The Iglesia de Cristo throughout Southwest California is making a positive impact in their different communities through a simultaneous community cleanup. On this sunny but cold and windy Saturday morning, the members of the Iglesia de Cristo cleaned the surrounding parks and neighborhoods throughout Southwest California as part of their outreach project to give back to their communities. In North Hollywood, California, the INC members coordinate their cleanup with local city officials to clean the streets, park, and recreation center to be part of the city's various ongoing beautification projects. You know, we are supportive of every single organization, but the fact that it's a church and that they go beyond their duties, their Sunday rituals, it's beautiful because the church is full of faith, it's full of love, it's full of empowerment and for them to come out on a Saturday morning with not only five volunteers but with almost 60 volunteers here is such a beautiful thing it shows that they're not only committed to their religion to their faith but they're also they're also committed to what is the foundation of love and commitment which is our community you know it it, it sets a, a very positive example on what you know people really can do within their community and, and including everyone in these types of cleanups so it's just a part that you start getting the pride in the community and pride in, in, in what we're doing here. I want to say thank you to the Church of Christ of Iglesia Ni Cristo for having this cleanup. I think it's great. I think that you know the church is part of this community and they're definitely you know, uh, setting the example on what one can do within the, this particular community. You know, it has a huge impact. I think any community, any community um, organization that that wants to volunteer truly has an impact because it's not only them but other people in their neighborhood are seeing them come out and volunteer so it might not be like a direct impact but in the long term it truly does have an impact on the entire community seeing people come out in the community you start to wonder what they're doing you start to you start to get curious as to why they're here in your community so it really does draw attention to different areas and also it also may allow other churches to also want to volunteer different organizations organizations, especially if they do much more community outreach, they might get other groups to come out as well. With brooms, rakes, and shovels provided by the city, the Iglesia de Cristo members began this new year of 2017 with their united cause to make a difference within the community, to clean up and care for the city streets, to restore the beauty of the neighborhoods, 
and thus improve the quality of life for all the residents. The Iglesia and the Cristo Church of Christ is really having a profound impact on the community here. When we first came here, there was a lot of litter on the floor, a lot of trash all around, and it's such a beautiful park and area that's you know open to the public and open to the big community here that I think it really helps for you know the families and the children to have a clean place to feel safe to have their family around. Uh, the first thing that the uh, neighbors uh, notice is the clean streets, uh, especially uh, this time of the year all the leaves have fallen and with the help of the brethren we're able to clean up those uh, leaves that uh, fallen and make the streets uh, much better looking. And also a uh, uh, positive impact is to get them to know the presence of the Church of Christ here in uh, uh, this place. There's an area that we personally went to and there was really a lot of debris and it's it's a lot of um, not leaves you know of course it's fall and winter but most of all the debris the garbage is on the street we clean that up tidy up a little bit and it's look way way better and it's it's I think it will be a great impact to the community by just seeing that their neighborhood or their surroundings are clean it was actually really great. We, were, uh, we had the kids with us. We were cleaning the playground and we had some family here coming to play and they actually thanked us for helping them clean the playground. So I thought that was really nice. This kind of activity expresses uh, the uh, values of the church and that is to uh, love our neighbors by uh, involving ourselves in community activities like this. This noble mission of giving back to the community is a never-ending effort that the Iglesia de Cristo embraces, not just here, but throughout the world. I am Eva Basayahe, reporting for Eagle News, and I am one with 25. Thank you, Eva. Coming up, the Ringling Brothers Circus is packing up after nearly 150 years. Plus. ABC's Las Vegas brings us the latest in air purifiers. Eagle News Washington, D.C. will be back shortly. palalaro ang karahasan sa mga nanonood na kabataan. Sige! Warta! O buhay niya! Kaya, kaagapay ninyo ang MTRCB rating bilang gabay. Agila Balita, lunes hanggang biyernes, alas 7.30 hanggang alas 8 ng umaga. Hello everyone! Join me and the rest of the EBC US team as we bring you highlights from the US presidential inauguration on January 20th. I'll be coming to you from the National Mall in Washington, DC. Stay tuned to Net25 for updates. I am Angela Mendez and I'm one with 25. to a place than its sights and its sounds. There is more to history than the dates, faces, and places. There is more to travel than just getting to destinations. Landmarks. Landmarks puts traveling on a different level. A great way to see things in a new perspective. Join us Every episode of Landmarks takes viewers on an enriching discovery of what makes the Philippines and the Filipino people rich and colorful. Reconnect with the past by revisiting the present. 
of landmarks. Because there is more to travel than just getting around. Every Sunday at 6 p.m. Welcome back. You are still watching Eagle News, Washington, D.C. American circus company Ringling Brothers and Barnum & Bailey is folding its tent after nearly 150 years in business. Eliza gonzalez Manglikmat reports. The Ringling Brothers and Barnum & Bailey Circus said on Saturday it will cease performances after 146 years in business owing to what it said were declining ticket sales and high operating costs. The Florida-based producer of Ringling Brothers and Barnum and & Bailey said on the circus website, in May of last year, the circus retired its elephant act years after a suit by activists. It admitted no wrongdoing but agreed to a six-figure fine several years before ending the elephant performances. In his statement on Saturday, Feld noted that declining sales had fallen off even more dramatically following what he called the transition of the elephants off the road. Animal rights group PETA said in a statement, in heralds the end of what has been the saddest show on earth for wild animals and asks all other animal circuses to follow suit as this is a sign of changing times. Activists often appeared outside venues with flyers protesting against the use of elephants and pictures of animals they said were abused. The circus will end its long run with performances in Providence on May 7, 2017 and in Uniondale, New York on May 21st. Employees were told of the decision to close down following performances on Saturday in Florida. For Eagle News, I am Eliza Gonzalez Manglikmot, always one with 25. Thank you, Eliza. Up next, EBC's Las Vegas brings us the latest in air technology. Eagle News, Washington, D.C. will be right back. Anunsyo publiko, nilinaw ng Department of Health o DOH na hindi maapektuhan ang dengue immunization program ng cease and disease order na inilabas ng Food and Drug Administration laban sa Sanofi Pasture. Ayon kay Health Spokesperson Dr. Eric Tayag, order ay ukul lang sa airing ng advertisement ng Sanofi sa radyo at telebisyon at hindi saklaw ang DOH. Magpapatuloy ang ikalawang bahagi ng vaccination program hanggang Pebrero. Sisimula naman sa Abril ang huling bahagi para makompleto ang tatlong dosage ng bakuna. What's up guys? It's Julianne, your EBC Las Vegas correspondent, reminding you that as the year comes to a close and life gets a little more stressful, don't sweat the small stuff. Let's all try to live like literary naturalist John Burroughs who once said, One resolution I have made and try always to keep is this, to rise above the little things. Don't forget to watch Digital Nest every Tuesday and Thursday at 7.30 p.m. only on Net25. I'm Julianne Dosena, and I am one with 25. Masayang umaga po! Lunes hanggang biyernes, alas 5 hanggang alas 6 ng umaga.
Welcome back. You are still watching Eagle News, Washington, D.C. Breathing clean air has become a challenge today more than ever. Many of us wonder how breathable is the air now compared to years ago. For more on what's the latest in air technology, here is Julianne DeSena of EBC's Las Vegas for more. Take a look. Sometimes they say that ignorance is bliss. But here at the Digital Experience of the Consumer Electronics Show 2017, we're finding technology that reveals things we never would have known, like what's in the air we're breathing. We're a company that only makes air purifiers, uh, so what we wanted to do was bring more awareness to air purification uh, to, to, to everybody, basically. You know, we, we filter our water, we try to eat healthy, but we don't always know what's in our air. So AirView allows us to see our air quality index based on EPA uh, scales and uh, type in any address in the, pretty much in the world and see what's floating around in there and what might be harmful. So right now we see uh, an address in Las Vegas um, where there's different types of particles floating around. You have PM 2.5 which are particles, uh, small particles, virus, mold, dust, bacteria, pet dander, pollen, exhaust particles from a car, heating particles that can be from exhaust or um, other things coming out of your, your home. It just lets you see all the different kinds of things in your air and then you're able to click on uh, these plus signs and learn more about them. Uh, so it'll tell you where it comes from, why it might be harmful, and what you can do about it. No fees involved at all. It's airview.blueair.com. It's pretty cool to see. You know, you can kind of pull up your exact house, your exact address, and see, you know, what's going on outside. And should you discover the air quality around you is not what you had hoped, you can always head down to the Blue Air website to figure out which air purifier will work best for you. Stay tuned for more coverage of the Consumer Electronics Show 2017 here in Las Vegas. I'm EBC correspondent Julianne DeSena and I am one with 25. Thank you, Julie. That is today's Eagle News Washington, D.C. Join the EBC U.S. team on January 20th as we bring you highlights of the Inauguration Day here in Washington, D.C. Once again, I am Rose Angeles and I am one with 25.